Hello everyone and welcome back. So today I'll be making a compound known as burette, which is actually something I haven't seen anyone on YouTube do really. There are some videos showing how to make it, but those really don't show how to purify it and get it in any pure state, which is exactly what I want to do today. So burette is easily prepared by just heating some urea, I've got a bunch of it here, to somewhere in between 130 degrees and 150 degrees for a few hours. I'm gonna be doing the reaction inside this aluminium can here because I've already broken way too much glassware doing things like that. So yeah, I'm just going to measure out some amount of urea, say, uh, yeah, 200 grams. That's a nice number. And then just get this heating. After quite some time on the hot plate, it has finally all melted. Uh, because that usually takes pretty long with urea. And you might be able to see in there it's already bubbling and decomposing yeah and it's putting off quite a bit of ammonia fumes so I'm not gonna stay around for too long and the temperature is at 151 degrees Celsius right now which is a bit high but I'm gonna keep it a bit lower over the next while and I'm just gonna heat this keep it at that kind of temperature for a while. So I've heated it for a bit over four hours which is probably a bit more than I would have needed to heat it for but it's cooled off and it's one solid brick. Yeah it doesn't come out. So I'm probably gonna have to melt it out. It's It looks pink on camera. It's actually a lot more brown. And hopefully this has now a lot of pyrette in it. I had to break that large chunk of material up a little so it would fit in this beaker and it crystallized and made these weird geode like crystal things yeah that's that's quite interesting but anyways the next thing to do is to dissolve this in a bunch of water because this is a mix of urea that I started with and the burette of course that I want to make and it also contains some other things like cyanuric acid another decomposition product of urea and well a few other things like I guess there could be melamine or other condensation products and when this is all dissolved or at least everything that will dissolve I will hot filter it to get rid of the cyanuric acid which is insoluble in water and then I'll basically just let the solution crystallize out the biorette So here is how it looks one day later. It has precipitated quite a whole lot of product. Yeah, 
that's quite a bit. And the next thing to do is to recrystallize this from dilute sodium hydroxide solution. That's because this still contains some cyanuric acid and it's pretty hard to get that out with normal recrystallization. So I'm going to have to recrystallize it from sodium hydroxide and then after that recrystallize it from water just to get out all the sodium. Yeah, so I'm just going to do that. So here is the final product, um, it's quite a nice crystalline powder and it's definitely pure enough for my purposes. But I only got about 13 grams of it, which equates to a yield of about 7.5%, which is not ideal. The yield from this method shouldn't be too great anyways, but 7.5% is still a bit low. And I think it was mostly from the recrystallization step, where I recrystallized it from sodium hydroxide solution, because I used too much sodium hydroxide. Um, I used a 5% solution and I should have probably went with a 2% solution because as I was heating it, it started to smell like ammonia. And that's a sign of stuff breaking down. So that's a possible reason to why the yield was so low. But I'm just gonna scale this reaction up a whole lot 
and make some more. Anyways, that's it for this video. Um, I hope it was interesting and till the next one. Bye.